All right, Shalom, giving all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakah HaKadosh, the honesty of apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And a sincere Shalom to the Akim that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. Now, before I continue and say anything else, I want to say the water Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving me, the fellow Akim, and start from our apostles on down the opportunity to do these lessons, these videos, the opportunity to go out there on the highways and the hedges. To edify and warn the nations of Israel, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The true biblical Jews, the Lord's chosen people, their chosen seed, the ones the law, statutes, and commandments were given to, as well as the promises. All right? Shalom. Now, again, man, you know, giving you, giving you, you know, the uh, warning, once again, that this stuff was coming, man. 2021. We see what's happening over there in the UK. They 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 entered. I think I think they said tier four, which is an enforced lockdown once again. That that was that was what was here. So you don't you you are ordered to stay indoors. You know until uh, you know unless you out going out to exercise or you know you going out there for essential shopping and things like that. Right. We've been warning you that this stuff was happening. You know. And now I'm seeing, I'm seeing, um, first of all, let me get to this, this lesson. I mean, this, um, this article here, this, uh, it says Macy's to close 45 stores as, as a part of a three year, uh, plan. All right. Which is a three year store closure, which I believe certain stores are doing close the stores for three years and Lord willing, they never open the fuck back up, you know, but, um, uh, that's that's what's going on, man. And I I, I, was, I was recently look uh, watching uh, the elders uh, one of the elders videos, um, the one that's here in Baltimore, and and I can't uh, 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 brothers know him as defenders, you know, you know. But um, you know, they, and I seen certain other brothers do do a video on that on I think on that article where it was talking about the 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 the, the C virus camps. All right. Well, to to anybody, to anybody who, to any pretty much any offenders, you know, anybody that goes against the C virus rules, the uh, the guidelines, right? The C virus carriers, they 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 they're talking about having, I believe, starting in New York, um, having, uh, uh the the troops take whoever has, has the the C virus, and and putting them in a the camp. All right. Putting them in some type of in some type of uh, 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 you know C virus camp, all right, uh, uh, to isolate them, all right, and this is the stuff that we've been warning you about, man, right? This is the stuff that we've been always warning you about, and you people never want to listen, right? And you know what we say? You don't have to. You don't have to because first of all, that's the that's the Lord not wanting you to listen because if you wanted to listen, then the Lord will have it. Right. You so-called black Latinos and Native Americans, man, our job out there, our job here is to, like I said at the beginning of the video, to warn and edify you. That's it. And to make sure that we stay warned and edified. That's it. That's 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 what we're here for. Other than that, whether you want to believe it or not. Well, let's get that. A second as uh, the book of second as All right. Now, you know, we always go into these prophetic scriptures you know all these scriptures are prophetic right but um now you read certain ones hit 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 points like when you read this one you uh second Ezra chapter 15 chapter 16 right i believe chapter 9 certain other ones you got habakkuk the second chapter you got joel the third chapter you got matthew 24 25 hell 23 luke chapter 21 Revelation chapter 13, chapter 14, chapter 7, Daniel, the book of Daniel, I believe chapter 7, and so on and so on, man. There's so many. There's so many. But I'm going to get this one, you know, because this is not going to be a long video. This is a second, this is a book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, uh, verse 1. I'm going to start at 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears, and I heard I heard the elder bring this out in that video that he did on that article, too. All right. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the words of prophecy. It said in the ears of my people. If this was talking about everybody, it would have said, speak in the ears of the world. But it said my people. Who are the Israelites? And again, 
they can go further in and prove that that's thought about the Israelites. But for for time's sake, and I'm I'm just going to kind of gov, kind of fly through this video. I'm I'm just going to stick with what the scriptures say, man. So his people, Israelites. So it's telling us to speak the words of prophecy to the ears of the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So the Lord is putting the words of prophecy in our mouth to spew out, man. Right? Yeah, I remember that we was just we was just like them two thirds at a, once upon a time. That's how we're able to go out there and want and edify them, right? To edify the two thirds of our people. Okay, this is uh, verse two. It says, "And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true." And if you don't believe by now that these scriptures are true, that something is really wrong with you, man. Honestly, something is really wrong with you. Those that believe that that claim to believe in the Bible, if you can't see that these scriptures is real, and and everything that we've been telling you is real. And, and, and has been on point so far through the spirit of power of Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. That something is really wrong with you, man. All right, we ain't gonna fight you too. For, look at this. It says, "Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee." Right? That speak against thee. So when you look into that word incredulity, that means unbeliever or unbelieving. Right? So I said, "Don't let the until." Let's read it again. You know, in the other way. Let not the unbelieving of them and uh, uh, trouble trouble thee. That's what that's saying. We ain't gonna sit here and fight you tooth and nail for you. We we do anyway. That's what we out here do, pushing these videos out for. We all fighting tooth and nail, you know, for, to wake up Israel, man. But at the same time, you know, we not because we we like, hey, man, we gonna keep pushing. If you don't want to get it, then you don't get it, right? Well, let me let me let me say that again. So we really not fighting tooth and nail for, with with you people, man. Because again, you if you don't want to get it, then you don't have to get it, man. You know, uh, the, the uh, old uh, old Jake that we dealt with Saturday, uh, uh, last camp, you know, uh, had said to the elder before he walked off, he had said, "Well, why should why then why should I believe you?" Because we was talking about you know you, he was talking about you can't believe every word in the Bible and stuff like that. And then the elder was like, "Well, you believe every every word that this devil tell you." Then the, then the then the then the old old Jake said, "Well, why then? Why should I believe you? You know." And I was getting ready to say that you don't have to, right? You don't got to, because it's not troubling us. You don't realize you Jake don't realize it's going to hurt y'all at in the end, man. That's all it's going to do is going to hurt y'all in the end. You if you don't have faith and stability as as uh, Isaiah thirty three and six say. If you don't have faith and stability, you know, the wisdom, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. If you don't got wisdom and knowledge, and the wisdom and knowledge is what? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. If you don't have fear of the Lord, going back to faith, then what do you got, man? You a damn, you a damn zombie, right? So it says, fear not the imaginations against thee, right? Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Verse 4, it says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So y'all going to die in your unfaithfulness, man. You don't want to have faith. And it's sad that you got guys that come into this come into this truth or claim they had come into this truth because they would never end the truth if you if you behave in that way. But it's sad that you got guys that come into this thing, right? And and just and just look at it as some goddamn show. This ain't a game. This ain't no. This ain't no damn show, right? When you come into this thing, you 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 ever heard of you ever heard of blood in blood out? That's what this is. It's blood in blood out. This ain't no damn talent show, right? This ain't no damn game show, right? Netflix Netflix Israelites. You got a lot of them in this thing, man. Netflix Israelites. Want to be, want to be seen, want to be famous, right? Hall of Fame Israelites. All right. Verse five. It says, "Behold, the Lord, Salaki. Behold, saith the Lord, Salaki. Let me read that again. Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. I will bring plagues upon the world, the the sword, famine, death, and destruction. I ain't gonna go on too much longer with this. This is self-explanatory." For wickedness have exceedingly have it exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works. 
are fulfilled, right? Therefore, I, I, that's why I'm not breaking it down. I mean, it's, it's, breaking it, it's breaking it down itself, you know? The earth is polluted with wickedness, man. Chemicals, yeah, that's that's part of the wickedness. But I'm talking about the the mindset, everything, man. The earth is polluted, completely polluted, uh, polluted with wickedness, man. This is set, uh, verse seven. It says, "Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, I will hold my tongue no more, touching their wickedness, which they pro profanely commit. Neither will will I suffer them in those days." Yeah, man, you know that remind me of you, 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 uh, you Christians that talk about, uh, we not under the law. Let's just have faith. Uh, we just have faith. You're not under the law. We have grace. So like, we have grace. We we're not under the law. So I can eat my chitlins and all that. You know, and the scriptures speak completely speak against that. You know, the scriptures say what? What then? Should, should we so we sin freely? No, but you stay out of that though. Yeah, that's why the that's why the scripture right here, man. Y'all going to die in your unfaithfulness, man. You fake ass Christians, man, and you fake ass Israelites too, man. Right? You claim to be Israel, and you're not even in the, in the mindset of Israel. Still want to continue to get lineups, shave your beard, and things like that. That's not Israel like uh, that's not Israelite uh, uh, tradition, man. Right? That's a heathenistic tradition, and you need you just need to understand that shit, man. Okay, it says, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me. The, with the, the innocent and the righteous blood is the elect, of, is the elect man. All right. And we, you know, in the Lord willing, we, we the elect, we constantly sighing and crying for the abominations of this place and crying unto the Lord. So this 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 is only proving what? Even though sometimes prayers don't work, the Lord still hears you, man. The Lord the Lord hears you. He's hearing out he's hearing our cries, man. He's hearing our cries. All right? It says and the souls of the just complain continually, right? Cuz we could we keep complaining when you pray to the Lord, man. You complain to the Lord, man, you know? When we do these videos, we complain to the Lord. You're constantly complaining all right now i uh, says so verse nine it says <laughs> uh verse nine it says and there and therefore saith the lord i will surely avenge them and receive unto me right so he said oh so like it receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them right so he's going to avenge us man and and start with the elect, but the whole of Israel. We get ready to get saved up out this bitch, man. Right? Get ready to get saved about this bitch. This is behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Right? I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Right? Because this is Egypt all over again. Right? This is every wicked kingdom that was mixed in one, man. And you know what makes it so much worse? That we don't know who the hell we are this time, man. Right? And and now it well, not only that, but it's like you know, it's, it's even more and more wickedness because it's every kingdom mixed in one. Of course, it's going to be worse than ever before. All right. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as, as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten. With the plague and punishment that Yahweh by Shimei Awashai shall bring upon it. I'm gonna stop right there. All right, that's so. That's that's you know when you look at these store closures and things like that. The the the, the uh you know it, it's it's the shutting down of everything, man. That's that's it's that's Egypt mourning, right? When you look at this place, this is Babylon, Egypt, and all that, man. They're mourning. So I'm gonna stop right there, man. You know, you talk again. These are warnings. You so-called black Latinos, Native Americans, better wake up, man, and repent. But if not, then that's up to Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shah, man. It's gonna hurt y'all. It's gonna hurt y'all in the end. And Lord willing, I pray that I stay faithful. You know. But anyway, uh, Shalom. And you know, call Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shah. That's all praises to His Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. Again, 
Kohalo, Yahweh, Shimei, Shai, Shalom.